guys, welcome to Thursday's lesson. Well done for a great start on your plans yesterday. Um, they were really looking amazing with so much lovely vocabulary, so really well done. Today we're going to continue the second part of the plan. Um, so let's find out what we're going to do today. Okay, so like I've just said, today we are going to plan the second half of our story plan. Um, so our LO is going to stay the same, it's going to be to plan an adventure story. Um, so yesterday we went through sections 1, 2 and 3, um, today we're going to go through sections 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this is kind of where the storyline to our story comes in and it's the real nitty gritty bit where um, we think about who we meet and we think about the problem and we think about how we're solving the problem. So yesterday if we had our mountain, um, we were going kind of up the side of the mountain but we hadn't reached the top yet. This bit is when we get to the top of the mountain um, and again going back down the other side. So let's have a look at our story plan from yesterday and remind ourselves what we put. We have, um, number one was where, so we said that we were in the Amazon River running through the Brazilian rainforest. Our W question was where does the meandering river take them? Um, so hopefully your W question is in third person. Um, we're going to go through that a little bit more in a second. Um, I originally put where does the meandering river take us yesterday, um, but I realised after that it needs to be in third person so hopefully you can change yours if you need to. Um, the setting description, um, we have got what we what you see here, smell, touch and taste, so those senses and personification. So we had lots of really, really rich vocabulary, amazing adjectives, um, some really good verbs in there and we had our personification sentences as well. So we had imposing mountains peering over the canopy of trees. So um, yours were really good yesterday, really impressed with your um, vocabulary that you're coming up coming up with you're really really um coming on with your vocabulary so well done guys so today we are going to think about who and what we will meet um the ad same ad sentence the action so what the problem was and then um the transport so how to solve the problem so um number four is who and what will we meet so this really depends on which setting you are in if you are in the desert you're not going to come across um uh, I don't know, like the Loch Ness, Loch Ness monster who is in a lake. Uh, or if you are um, in a volcano, you're not going to come across a polar bear because you've got to think about it a little bit realistically. So we are in a river here um, and who and what we will meet. I had an idea that we could meet some snapping angry crocodiles um, who are in the river um, and that's who we come across. You can add as much information in there as you want to. You can add some um, adjectives about who you meet um, or you can just keep it nice and simple like I have done. Um, number five, you are going to do an add same add sentence. So we had a look at those earlier in the week um, and um, we, it's where you have an adjective, um, two identical adjectives, one after the comma followed by because because you're telling us a little bit more information. So. This is an opportunity where you can write about who you meet um, using an adjective. So I'm going to say they were angry. Oh, not angry. I'm using my word from up there. They were vicious crocodiles. Okay, got my comma. Putting my identical adjective in there as well. Vicious uh, because... Um, they were guarding the secret river passage. Okay, I'm aware you can't see all of that. So, okay, there we go. So we've got our add same ad sentence in there. We've got our adjective to describe the crocodiles, followed by a comma, then our adjective again, followed by because, and then given us the extra bit of information. Okay, fantastic. Um, number six, we need to think about the problem. So the person you've met is the pro is going to be linked to your problem. So like in Taking Flight where they came across some aliens and then they were in this bit spaceship battle, they met the aliens, then there was the problem with the aliens. So don't suddenly have a problem that is very um, out there and not linked to who you've just met and not linked to your setting. Um, try and keep it all in keeping. So... I'm going to put in here, um, the problem that we have is that we need 
So I'm going to use um, third person. So they need to get down the river passage. To escape the uh, the <laughs> impending waterfall. Okay, so um, my problem is that they are needing to get down the river passage that the crocodiles are guarding. I've let I've linked it to my ad same ad sentence, um, and I've said that the reason is because there is a waterfall in the distance that they are going to fall down. Um, so I might put that in the distance. Okay, then I need to think about how I'm going to solve the problem. Um, so I am going to say that Tony, because we're talking in third person, so the person in the video is called Tony. Um, you are welcome to rename your character if you would like, but remember, please don't use I, we, us. It is going to be third person, so Tony, they. Um, so Tony presses a button which creates wings um on the uh sides of the boat um uh this turns the boat into a seaplane Ooh. so that they can fly high above the snapping jaws of the crocodiles. Um, Tony throws leftover food down the river to distract them so they can take off. Okay, so. Um, I've got a quite a lot of uh, description and uh, content there. So Tony presses a button which creates wings on the sides of the boat. This turns the boat into a seaplane so that they can fly high above the snapping jaws of the crocodiles. Tony throws leftover food down the river to distract them so they can take off. Okay. This is the section where if you don't add enough information, when you come to write your story, it's going to end a bit, it's going to be a bit pants. OK, you need to add nice a nice amount of content into this section here so that when you come to write your um, story, it doesn't just end with and then they manage to get away. OK, this bit is where we're getting really, really um, excited about what's going to happen and we're getting um, really it's going to be tense. It's going to be suspension. Don't let us down by then saying and then this happened. OK, make sure. You've got description in here. You've thought about what happens, um, you know, how they distract the person, how they get away from the person um, and kind of link it back to everything else in your plan as well. So your task today is to complete the final four boxes of your um, of your plan. We're going to put alongside here, though, remember... to write in third person, okay? Because that is something that even I forgot, okay? So remember to write in third person. Remember, this is about Tony or, I don't know, Freddie, whoever your character is. Um, I'm going to keep Tony as mine, but remember to do that. So if you are going to write a sentence where you need to say um, they, um, or if you were going to say I, remember to put they or Tony. So today you're going to complete the who, what, uh, who or what will you meet, the add same add sentence, the problem and solution set, and the problem and solution sections of your plan for your setting. So um, there we go. There's mine. If you need to magpie any ideas, by all means do that. But remember, yours is specific to your setting. So don't say that you've got crocodiles if you are on a volcano. OK, um, you can magpie some of the ideas about how they get away, maybe. Um, but like, make sure that it's yours and make sure that it's suitable for your setting. So 
I think you are all going to be amazing. Remember that this is going to help you next week. So as I say, the more information you put on here, the easier it's going to be to write it up into a story next week. Have a good uh, time with this, guys. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing your plans because seeing your plans really excites me about the stories that you're going to create. Have a good day, guys. Bye.